was who was more powerful out of King David and Larry Hoover? Was it like equal power? <laughs> okay, thank you, brother. What city are you from, brother? Oh, I'm from Atlanta. Atlanta? Okay, thank you, brother. Thank you. This is a question he said he wanted. I, he said, which one is more powerful? Now, he's trying to pit one against the other, which I yeah. think you can do. But which one is more powerful? I don't think it makes. But go ahead. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to do that because this ain't this ain't no situation where we glorify one over the other. So I'm, I'm definitely not going to do that. Both of these men are very respected. Both of these men are very powerful. And it's all about being black at this point. And actually, brother, you sound like you the same brother calling and saying you from different cities. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not right. knocking you or whatnot, but but you know, let let's just keep this shit real and, and, and let's let's get the bullshit out of here. You know what I'm saying? This ain't about anything that you can get anybody indicted over over saying some crazy shit. This is about keeping yeah. people in real perspective yeah. over the reality of what's happening. And if you if you on tinkering and tottering on which organization to follow, I, I can't help you with none of that. You know, what, you need might to, be a good, might be a might be a government, but you know what? <laughs> but you know what? But this is something I do know. You say a man might be feminine. I know somebody they went to prison. Man, they buffed up, working out every day. I said, man. How did you let them break you down like that? Wow. He, he put his head down. He said, you can't beat the whole bar. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, you, would you, I mean, would you say that's true that you can't beat the whole bar? Well, I, I can say this. I can say that is true, but the mob has rules against rape. The mob don't rape. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's, one, that's one of the rules, both of them. You know what I'm saying? Both of the mobs. The, the, you, you, don't, you don't forcibly take nobody's manhood. That's law. And, and that's what I'm upset about when they start breaking these organizations down. That's something that you can't do. You, you'll get seriously violated for forcibly taking a man's manhood. You can't do that. I don't know. You know what, though? Mm -hmm. I, I, I believe it's, you know what, the weak ones, they will take this manhood. Or the, I'm talking about if you, if, they, if you walk into prison and they know that you're weak, Mm -hmm. They will. They will. I believe. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to say how I know that, but mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that alone. But they will take your manhood. You don't think I, so? I'm not. I'm not. Say, I'm not saying that. I'm saying forcibly. When 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 a when a when a, when a man has decided I'm a man and that's what's happening, yeah. and he's in the cell and he's faced with two or three. You, you understand me? Two or three guys. You know that's that's a, that's a violation if y'all trying to take this, this brother's manhood. That's what the mob is about. You, you see what I'm saying? You can't. We can't allow you to take no man's manhood like that. That's inhumane. That's savage. We don't get down like that. But if you in a conversation nightly, listen, listen to what I'm saying. If you in a conversation nightly, each and every night, each and every night, each and every night, where a man is coming at your manhood, you know what I'm saying? And then at one, at some point or, or, or time, you you let that thing go. Then nobody can <laughs> nobody can say anything. <laughs> I, I mean, what can what can a young what what can a young boy that decides to pull a trigger expect if he's not affiliated with no gang once he go into prison? I already know already, but go ahead. What can he expect? That's 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 bad. First of all, when you was when you was on the streets and you decided to pull the trigger, you you should have been affiliated with something ahead of time, because you as you go in the state of Illinois, if you go in the penitentiary system and you're not affiliated normally for safety reasons, brothers are joining Latin Kings because Latin Kings have an in-house policy where when you come to the door, you can become a Latin King. Now you can see black Latin Kings, you can see Mexican, you know, whites, you see Latin Kings, you understand me, of all affiliations because they have an in-house policy of accepting you, you know, as soon as you come through the door, whether you're affiliated or not. Growth and development doesn't do that. The Vice Lord brothers don't do that. They have to recognize you as somebody that used to be with them on the streets in order to bring them in. I don't know. Uh, I, I think the, the brother Corky Max said that's bullshit. Yes, they will take your manhood. <laughs> Where you from, brother Corky Mac? Because we don't do that in Illinois. <laughs> Man, they, they, they believe, believe me, brother. I, you know <laughs> what? I'm gonna tell. I can tell you some things about Statesville, but you know what? I don't want to say it. Uh -huh. Biggie. 
I'm just going to say the name Biggie, okay? But you know what? I can tell you some things about Statesville Prison, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so why is it why is it important that a young man respect his mother and respect his father? And there's so many men that don't respect their mother and father, but when they go to prison, they follow orders. Why is that? Well, if, when you go to prison, you're going to follow orders right off the bat because your life is in danger. Mm -hmm. When you go to prison, you're going to follow orders, you know, or, or else you're not going to make it out of prison, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and as far as uh, as far as them not respecting their mother and not respecting their they, they fathers, that's 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 a shame. That's despicable. If you don't respect the wound that you come from, then you don't respect yourself. You, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't have any self-respect, then you know, I mean, what, do, what what does that amount to? Do you think? Do you think? Do, do you think it's a, a situation where the sometimes the parents are blamed because they try to be their child's best friend, and when you try to be your child's best friend, your child or the person that you lose, you're raising they they lose some type of respect for you. You start drinking with them. You start smoking with them. You start saying, do you think that's an aspect that's involved? Well, uh, you know, you can't you can't tell people how to raise their children. You, you know what I'm saying? You, you definitely can't do that, but that's not something that I would do. You know, even if I did get drunk, you know what I'm saying, or I was a drunk, you, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't I wouldn't drink with my son. But if, if I did smoke, I wouldn't smoke with, with, with my son. You, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't do that, you know? I, Corky, Corky Max say he was in Stakesville, brother. I used to work in Stakesville. He say he was in Stakesville. Corky Mac, yeah, Stakesville. What, what year, brother Corky Mac? What, what year was you in there that that you seen brothers getting raped by the mob? <laughs> I don't know if it was B West or B East, brother. But uh, <laughs> you, you was you was in the row houses. You you was you was in you was in the circle houses. No, he was in the gun. <laughs> I'm gonna say the name. You know what? I can say the name now. He's dead. You ever hear Big Low? Yeah, I, I know Big Low. And brother, yeah. I, can, I can tell you some stories. Big, big Bobby Low. <laughs> yeah. I can I can tell you some stories, brother. So now, when now, I listen now. to some, well, when I listen to somebody say your manhood can't be taken, your manhood can be taken, brother. Yeah, now, now look, 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 when I say this, see, the question was the mob. That was what I was defending, the mob. I'm not talking about, now, Big Low is a big, a big, big, big fella, and he's powerful. Now, let me tell you what, let me tell you this. No disrespect to Big Low. That was his thing. I, I mean, let, let's, let's just say this, you know, he, he 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 in in respect of him he he would he would lean on you like that but there are people that i know that he didn't that he didn't that he didn't that he didn't get you know what i'm saying a couple of brothers that i know i know them personally that he didn't get because they was real men you know let's like okay when then i'm not doing that so i'm going to walk myself i'm going to say i ain't doing that you, you know what i'm saying but you can't say the mob was doing that that's what he was doing you you, you understand what i'm saying i just want to make that clear yeah, man, I horrifying, man. But but like I say, I don't. You know what? I don't believe that you can. I don't believe that your child, a young person, could be your best friend. I believe they lose some type of respect for you at some point. They do, yeah. and it's it's sad. You're not really preparing them for the world when you tell them to do something, and they say, right. "I do it in five minutes." But that's nah. not. You know, when I tell you to do something, see, I look at it as you know what, what I mean, what advice would you give to a young lady that is raising a child by themselves and they don't have a male role model for that young man to look at? Because you know what? I believe in most cases a woman cannot raise a boy into a man, in most cases. You're ready to, you're getting ready to you getting ready to have all the ladies upset with you, boy. <laughs> no, you hear what I said? I didn't say in all cases. Right, right. In most cases. Do you agree with that? Well, we, we we both of us are of the Islamic persuasion, and you know what we believe. You that ain't that ain't that ain't no 
that ain't no question. It takes a man to raise a man and a and a woman to raise a woman. You you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that that's that's how we believe. But other people don't they they don't believe like that. Me and my son, you know, I would I would never. This is my bloodline. This is my flesh of my flesh. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't allow his mother to raise him. You, you know what I'm saying? He's got to go with me. You know, my daughter, my daughter, she can go with you. But yeah. but he him he's got to go with me. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> so, brother, tell us about the event that is, you say what, because we're going to share this. I'm going to post this again on Facebook, on YouTube, and I hope that you post it on your, your media. And you know what? Tell us about the event that is coming up in, in terms of the future. What can we do to help and aid and assist Brother Larry Hoover? And Jeff Ford and Jeff Ford and Larry Hoover. What can we do? Well, there's an event coming up, you know, the, the benefit okay. concert uh December 9th. Okay. December 9th in Los Angeles, California, Los Angeles Coliseum. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a a concert again. You understand me, uh by 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 Ye and Drake coming together, and this is for the support. Also, if 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 you're not if you're not with that, I want you to if it's Facebook or whatever. Google free my father, you know, and, and, and get on board with that with my brother's campaign. You understand me to, to free his father, free his father, you know, or you can take a, a, a just Google Larry Hoover Enterprise. You, you know what I'm saying? And follow some of the things and get the info for Larry Hoover Jr. Dot com. You, you know what I'm saying? And become involved in that way. Therefore, you know, your help can go directly, you know, to, to, to freeing uh, Mr. Larry Hoover. And you know what? That is very, very important. These type of brothers, they can motivate. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna emphasize that they can talk to the to the youth in a language that the pastor, that the preacher, that the imam, that the cardinal don't have the ability to speak in to motivate them right you know, right we must stop the killing but you know what i'm not saying they can stop the killing they can minimize the killing what would you say they can stop the killing or minimize it i would say minimize because you always got these rogue guys that's just gonna do what they gonna do anyway which mm -hmm. which, which which you you sometimes you might have to kill them so so that's a that's a that's a murder <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? So but we don't want to do that, though. <laughs> right? No, we don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? But in civilized society, you know, especially when you go over to the Middle East, you know, some, 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 some things, you know, that you did require death. You know that that was the payment for it. You know, law. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So some things would require. You know, thieves get their hands cut off. We don't want to see you with one hand, brother, because now you can only do half the work, but you can't be running around here stealing either. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you know, but man, I think you get talking about Sharia law, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sharia law, Sharia I, law, exactly. I, I, you, know, you know what? <laughs> you know, as a as a Muslim, I'm. I well, you know what? I'm gonna keep that out of it because I'm concentrating on Larry Hoover and Jeff Ford. You know what my religious persuasion. That's one thing I have to do. I have to learn to be objective. Right, it's kind of right. hard to be, man. You know. Well, see, that's that's the thing with these organizations. These organizations that I'm telling you right off the bat, they basically work on Sharia law. That's mm -hmm. why. That's why the the discipline is so strict. You understand me, and the structure is so keen when it's there because there are consequences to pay. And most of the times when you're dealing with black men, you have to make those consequences, you know, as such where brothers do not want to have to deal with those consequences. That's how you stop those actions.